I'm Larry with W.O. Klein Incorporated on the Foreman on the Vines project here. And uh, today we're putting in insulated concrete forms. They're going to be the foundation for the straw building we're doing. And uh, basically, these foam forms sit on top of our footer, which is the main foundation for the house. You stack them in, they interlock almost like Lego blocks. And then they have these internal support webs inside that you slide in. And this is where all your rebar attaches. Depending on the building's design, this particular building's designed for one rebar every other course of block. And these foam blocks have these little strips inside of them. You can see on the inside here, these little black strips. And those are actually, you can attach drywall to them. If you use these in a house with a finished basement, you can attach drywall directly to them. We're using them for the support system for our bracing for the walls and our scaffold support. And the old way of doing concrete walls was using like, a, they call them like Simon's panels or wooden panels for forms. You have to set them, then after you pour, you have to strip them, clean them, and then you end up going back and putting styrofoam insulation on the foundation anyway. And with this system, once you set them, they're done. You don't have to pull them back off and all your insulation is already complete. So once you pour it, you can actually just backfill the foundation and you're done. Any of the suppliers that sell these, they give you like instructional courses, you can get certified in them. They're actually pretty simple. You start in your corners and you work towards the middle. You put your cut piece in the middle and then once you get one row done, you attach your rebar as needed. And then you go back, set your next course, work towards the middle, put your piece in the middle. And then as far as bracing goes, we're not all the way up with this foundation yet, but basically once you get to the top, you put a two by four support system around the whole thing and then every five to six foot you put an outrigger on and that's how you plumb up your walls and brace it for pouring. 